Gary, bank holiday football on at Steel Park, came away, four goals, no uh, to no reply, and uh, three points. And another good performance here at home. You must be quite pleased. Yeah, it's just chalk and tease from 2023 and at home form in 2024. And again, referred to it just for the lads in there. We, we lost six to seven of them games this year. And that's killed us because... I think we're one of the best five teams in the league and the league table will tell you otherwise, which is rightly so, you, you finish where you should finish. And uh, we're just a different animal at the minute, as in defensively, we get our teammates out of, the, out of trouble when they get themselves in trouble, which weren't happening mm. a few months ago. You know, we was hanging each other out to dry midfield, they're working the socks off. And up front, we're looking really lively. And, and I was pleased Milne got around the match today because I think he's been solid for a good number of weeks. Um, although there was four or five probably other candidates that could have gone up today. So, yeah, it's nice for someone to actually give it to a defender when you win 4-0. Although I thought some of the play, first half and second half from the front boys was, was outstanding. Of course, there was a couple of good saves as well. You've got to mention Tom Finch. He's, yeah. he's pulled off his... The saves that have kept Corby in the game at some point. Yeah, and and again, that's probably what we didn't have earlier on the season. You know, he's, he's made crucial set up. I think, you know, you're, I think he made one at one nil up, which he pushed on the post, and then he's made another one after that. And if that go in, that's one one change the dynamic of the game. Whereas they was going in at the start of the season, and we weren't making them last ditch tackles at the start of the season. There's a lot of things that go wrong during a season, but I'm just bitterly disappointed because we're not that far away. We can make three really good additions to this squad. Um, probably one in each area, really good addition. We've got a real big man up top, a big mid box to box midfielder, and maybe another defender. You, you've, you've, you've probably got a squad that could compete, and certainly for the top top three or four five spots. So, you know, that's given us plenty to think about for the summer because we we're a good unit now. You can see the balls are playing with a smile on the face. Maybe that come with playing, you know, with no pressure. You got that little bit of freedom because the result isn't the be all and end all. Whereas at the start of the season, it is. Um, but that is nice to see the boys playing with a smile on the face and playing with a bit of freedom and keeping clean sheets and scoring some good goals. I think the fourth goal is an outstanding goal. Great ball from Tris Johnson's gone up down the line. Great cut back and. There's probably not many players in the league who can finish like like Greg can. That's a that's a hell of a finish. That's come off his foot like a like an absolute thunderbolt, and you know he deserved that. He's he's been great great addition to the squad as well. And of course, you've got to mention the third goal as well. Substitute. He was on for two minutes. The new player. You've brought him in, yeah. and uh, Johnson's there with his practically his first touch of the game to put it in the back of the net. Yeah, I said when the ball go down the left, just get yourself in the middle of the goal, and that'll just tap it in. And that's exactly what happened. So that's, you know, that's... that's uh, <laughs> You're just, taking all the credit. I just, no, I just said, go on and enjoy yourself. Get a smile on your face. Obviously, tough for him at Harbour because he, you know, he's got good competition for places. And obviously, with us having a smaller squad, Mitch done as a favour. And I thank, thank him for that and cancelling his registration for us and them at Harbour for doing that for us. And he was able to come in our squad. And, you know, that's, that's about... Getting smart sometimes when a player hasn't been playing so regular when they want to be, and he's, he's definitely good enough for the level. You know, it's just about giving him some minutes. And um, I just said to him, go on there and try and get yourself a goal and maybe an assist. And you know, he'd done both and got, got a smile on his face. Now, it started in sunshine this afternoon, it's just started to rain yeah. again. And uh, how disappointed were you that the game Saturday wasn't wasn't allowed to be played because of the pitch being waterlogged? Really disappointed because we're in good form and now we've got to go there on a Tuesday night. That's difficult, boys. I know their players have to work and that, but when you travel, winning away from home is on a Tuesday night is is very, very hard. But obviously going around to the any time is very, very hard. So, you know, we, we had the squad fit Saturday. We was ready to go. We are in good form. So that would have probably been, you know, a good chance for us to give them a, give them a decent game. But whenever, I think it's the 16th of April now, we'll pitch up there. We'll have a go. You know, the boys, the boys are running around. They're having a go. They know the jobs. They're sticking their heads in. You know, they're, they're running themselves into the ground. You know, we have the GPS on. They're all putting full shifts in. And so, yeah, you know, that's just, we're just going to run out of time, aren't we? That's just, we just, we just didn't start the season well enough. And that's just disappointment that we're not in more meaningful games at the business end of the season. And of course, another 564 are still parts afternoon. It's unbelievable. I don't think we haven't dipped below 500 on a Saturday home game all season. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I, listen, even when we was losing, we didn't play. We didn't play well sometimes, but there was they could see we was trying. See, I'm trying. That you know the staff are trying. We we were trying, and that'd have been easy for us to just 
quit and you know with the the stuff going on but I, I do see the potential of this football club I do see the the the, the vision I do I want to see the James Af- Ashworth full of people most weeks I want to be walking off down that tunnel being in the top three and you know the clubhouse being full I want I want them times I know other managers have had it here I want that here I've had it at other clubs I want I want to try and get it going here and I believe I will. I believe I will. I believe if we all pull together and um, things happen behind the scenes, which we think are going to happen, and we we get the necessary, we can get the necessary players in, and you know we can keep a squad together for a full season. You know, I think there's no reason why we can't build up to that mm. over the next year or two. So it, it's never a quick fix in football. We just go, oh yeah, look, Spalding have had unlimited funds for two, three, four seasons now. They're now at the summit. I think today they've gone top. You know, but that in, uh, instant, oh yeah, they've got three quid. That's, that's, that's about keeping a nucleus of a side together and building teams over a couple of years. Anstey, another great example. Um, they've, they've come up, they've, they've had a good team at set, I don't know if they come from step six to step five to step four, but they've they've had a good, good um, camaraderie with the players and that, that shows and in tough times you, you need to look the teammates in the eye you need to know a manager need to know what he's going to get from every single player and that, that's what make good teams and, and hopefully we can we can build on that for the next season the season after and, and try and get out of this this league you've mentioned building of course there was only three on the bench this afternoon because the youth team were away yeah. in a tournament in the Netherlands yeah. Yeah. they've won it they yeah. haven't conceded a goal no. it's looking good for the future Outstanding, and, and the lads who come in with us, Ryan, Kyle, Shay, you know, and we've had a couple of the other lads, Stan and Nigel, training with us. You know, they 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 don't look out of place, which is which is which is really pleasing. Obviously, Ryan's gone to Bugbrook with Shay. They loved him over there. You know, I think he's got a good chance, and hopefully, um, when they when they get back from sunning themselves in <laughs> in Eindhoven, they can um celebrating, painting the town red, um. I'll get back to work with us and hopefully we can give them some meaningful, a couple of them some meaningful minutes between now and the end of the season. But, you know, hats off to Hutch and the boys and, you know, great achievement going over there. I think they beat uh, some sort of Peterborough United side in the final, not conceding the goal, you know, winning on penalty shootouts and, you know, great experience for the boys as well. So they've done the club proud um, in Europe. <laughs> so um, yeah well done to them fair, fair play to them well done Gary today wonderful 4-0 victory we'll see you next week away yep. at Sutton Coldfield yeah another tough one yeah